now I am doing a different type of cache, which is called a, it's called a where I go. So it's like this other company came up with these games called where I goes. And basically it uses your GPS and there's zones and it unlocks different things and stuff like that. So it's a game that you play with your position in the real world. So it's kind of cool. So I'm going, I'm trying this one out. So, hold on, let me see. It's hard to see it, but basically, 0.3 miles this way gets me to my first station. And then there's, you know, locations, things I can see, and those are based on zones. So if I get into a zone, then something may become visible to me. Then I can go over and look at it and get information. I have an inventory and then different tasks. So it's interesting. Um, so we'll just see how it plays out. And it, this one, I, he says it takes you to some of the caches out here. So I'll be able to log those as find, finds as well. So anyway, I'm going to continue. I'm inside, but I had to jump over a fence to get here. So, I think I'm allowed in here. I don't know for sure, but there's caches hidden in here. So, I should be allowed here. Also, this makes me nervous, kind of. Cow footprints. I've had bad experiences with cows before. But I'm keeping a lookout for cows. I have to go up that hill. There's my first stop. That big rock. I have to go over to it. And then I'll find out where the next stop is. All right, it's logged, I found it, and now I'm on my way to the next one. So here I go. So I'm way out here, just in the middle of a field, and there's houses over there, but for some reason, I came across this giant piece of mangled metal, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, I'm continuing on. 0.3 miles this way. So that's somewhere over there. Let's continue, I guess. Found a deer over there. That's cool. I'm getting tired. Tenth of a mile left up this hill. I'm taking a little break. I found out something. See that trail that goes that way? I probably should have taken that trail, but instead, I don't know if you can tell how steep this is, but yeah, I walked, oh, where's that rock? Right over there. There's the rock I was at. I walked all down there, across all this, and then up this very steep hill at the end. And it's still further this way, so I'm going to have to go that way soon, but I'm just taking a, bre uh, a break. But you can see the ocean over there, you can see Vallejo, yeah, all these hills, you can see houses over there, and then my house is beyond those hills. I can see a lot from here. I hope I don't have to go up that. Yeah. Anyway, cash is over there. I should probably start going to it. GPS! Alright, I found that one in the rocks. 
And now I'm going to the next one, which is actually pretty close. So that's cool. I like that. So it's probably up in those rocks over there. So I'll go find that one now. All right. I'll talk to you later then. Goodbye. Yep. It was at this giant rock. Found it. See? Right there. Won't show you where it was hidden though, but that's the container. And this is the view from up here. Sun's going down. I got work soon. And I need to walk way over there back to the freeway because that's where my truck is. And then there's up the hill. So yeah, that's, that's the place. Log. Time to sign. Whoa. Sign log. And then continue the where I go. I don't even know how many more stages there are. Hopefully not too many because I have to go to work soon. Will I make it? Keep watching to find out. This hike has turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it would be. And it's still going. I mean, look, the freeway is way over there. Bugs! Yeah. Go away. Mosquitoes. Anyway, I just keep going further away from the freeway. I found the next stage. It was at this rock with this tree. You can't see Vallejo anymore, but you can see all these houses now. Hidden Brook, I think it's called. It goes way down there. And I think I'm finally at the last stage because where it says navigate to now, it says the cache. So I'll show you. That one, play, resume. And then it says, okay, only one more. Then to the, oh, one more, then to the final. Click OK when you're ready to move on. OK. But I found that. Oh, OK. This was the one before the final. I got to, like, move back and come back again, so. Anyway. Continuing. And it was right. One more, which is .2 miles away. And then the final. So I'll just go even further away from the freeway. Make my walk back even longer. But the well. Exercise is good for you, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll make it in time for work, though. I hope. Unless I get rammed by a cow. Okay, so I've found the cache before, you know, the last one before the final coordinates, which are not available as a regular cache, but only in the where I go game. But for some reason, it's not letting me get them. So I have to, because, you know, it's, I told you before, it's based on zones. So to activate different things, you have to enter the, you know, the zone. So I have to walk away from it and then walk back to it again. And then it says, you know, oh, there's some nice views from up here. It can get kind of windy. And then click OK when you're ready to go to the final. I click OK. And nothing happens. Okay. See? I don't know if you can see. This is Jason's resting spot. Here's a picture of a miner. Nice views. It gets windy. Here. So this is the last cache up here, except for the final of this where I go. Click when you're ready to go. So you say go, and it goes back to this, and oh, there it is. Never mind, it's working. Cool. That's all I have to do is show somebody that it's not working, and then it works. I was planning that the whole time. Bugs. I'm here at the final location, 
and there's a lot of trees all around me in this little clearing so I have to look I've tried I've been looking for a little while but um, I don't know where it is so I'm gonna keep looking and take a little break well, I've been looking around for about 15 minutes or so and I mean look at how many places there are to look I mean there's bushes and rocks and more bushes and more rocks and more bushes and more rocks lots of places to hide it and I was having some trouble and my where I go for some reason wasn't popping up with the clues right away so I ended up calling the cash owner and uh, uh he gave me a little he just gave me the clues that this thing would have given me but for some reason wasn't but anyway I found it so that's cool Ugh, it's hot well now it's just a long walk back to the truck but I think I'm actually gonna go over there because there's another cache that way and then I can just follow the road back I think I'll do that so this way okay remember those rocks that I was pointing at with my camera earlier these ones this big groove and uh, and rocks ouch stop it plants oh anyway <laughs> um yeah I thought this is where it was gonna be but it turns out this is only a third of the way to where it is so I will continue on my way this would be a cool place for one though I should have brought my rock container could have put it here this is a cool place Ugh, I would have been really hard to find because it's you know a container that looks like a rock I was up there and over there oh hey that's where uh, one of them was that little tree and a rock yeah I called my work I said uh, I might be late because I'm several miles from any type of road and I'm tired <laughs> so anyway continuing on so this is the rock safari I guess there's just some random rocks in the middle of here so I found it now I'm going back down to the road probably head this way that way I can get to that intersection and then start walking that way all the way back to the freeway it's gonna be a long walk but nothing to do but walk I guess so that's what I'll do and I'll stop recording now okay I'm back to the road now I think I got like a mile to walk so let's just walk <laughs> yep it's a little while later and I'm coming up to uh, my starting point not where I parked but where I started um, actually going into the place it's right here there's a uh, yeah trail markers and then this gate and that trail right there is actually where I started from I had to jump that fence and then go up the hill and yeah continue from there so anyway I'm almost back to my truck I'm back to the freeway, to the car parking areas, and there's my truck. Yay! I made it back. Ugh. Back in the truck. And what time is it now? No, not 10:27. Come on, time. 426 so I've got like 15 minutes to get to work but I'm going in at 530 so it's okay <laughs>